हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू मर्ज टू एरेज इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड वी विल बी रिमूविंग द डुप्लीकेट एलिमेंट्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इनसाइड बोथ द एरेज सो दिस विल बी अ वेरी बिगनर काइंड ऑफ अ जावा स्क्रिप्ट ट्यूटोरियल इन व्हिच वी विल बी मर्जिंग टू एरेज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज अ इंडेक्स डॉट एचटीएमएल फाइल सो आई कैन जस्ट राइट द टाइटल हियर व्हिच इज मर्जिंग टू एरेज इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट and removing duplicates elements so removing duplicate which are repeating elements in the resultant third array so for all the source code i will be using in this tutorial i have given the link in the video descriptions these are the two blog posts first we will be using the concat method in javascript and the for loop and then then we will be using the spread operator and we will also be using this set data structure so all the source code will be there inside video description i have given the full blog post links these are the two blog post links so you can just follow along with the video so this is the index.html file we just need to include our main.js file here so we can simply write uh, main.js we can include it write this so this is our main javascript business logic file here so as i already told you first we will i will be showing you the using by concat method in order to concatenate two uh, arrays here and then we will also be using some for loop this is the first method that we will use here so first of all we will declare two arrays here array 1 and this will have some elements here 34 56 78 3 4 4 let me just re uh, repeat it 34 4 once again so this is duplicate element here you can see it is repeating two times and uh, let's suppose 56 is also there 78 8 once again some random elements here like this so this is array 1 and let's suppose i declare the array 2 here something like this 56 78 3 4 3 5 4 6 6 23 1 1 1 1 so this is the two arrays here you can see it contains uh, these uh, i think nine elements nine or 10 elements so we need to concatenate first of all so we will make a custom function here we will make a custom javascript function to carry out this process first of all so we will call this as uh, merge arrays and remove duplicate and remove duplicate so this is a fun function name here quite a long function we will pass this two arrays here array 1 comma array 2 as the argument here so simply we are passing the first array and the second array here so now we need to make this function so simply we can make this function here declare function so we can write here function and we will name the function which is merge arrays and remove duplicate and this contains two arguments first array 1 array 2 simply like this and inside the curly brackets first of all guys what we need to do is that we need to concatenate these two arrays so for concatenation there is a built in method inside uh, javascript which is concat so we can declare a third array here which is a third array and this we can initialize it to array1 dot and then this it contains the built in method in javascript which is concat c o n c a t so here we need to pass the second array which is needs to be concatenated which is array2 that's it so now guys if i console log this third array what you will find is that it will take all the elements which are present inside the first and the second array and it will not remove the duplicate elements it will just concatenate it so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 elements are there in the first array 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so let me just make it 10 here so 10 elements here 10 elements here so the third array will contain 20 elements so if i console log it and now if i show you if i open this uh, inside uh, live server so what you will see if i console log go to inspect element and you will see now it will contains 20 elements so the indexing starts from 0 0 1 2 so it will contain 20 elements and now you can see the elements are repeating here so it, it hasn't removed the duplicate elements so now we also need to remove the duplicate elements for that we will be using the for loop so now what we can do you guys we can have the for loop here first of all we will declare it uh, which is uh, i will declare another variable uh, which is unique array so basically this will be a resultant array which will contain the duplicate which will contain the 
यूनिक एलिमेंट्स है रे सो बेसिकली इट्स अ यूनिक एलिमेंट्स है रे इट विल रिमूव द डुप्लीकेट एलिमेंट सो वी हैव डिक्लेयर्ड इट एंड दिस इज एम्प्टी एरे है फॉर नाउ सो वी विल नाउ यूज़ द फॉर लूप गाइस व्हिच इज लेट आई वी विल डिक्लेयर द लोकल वेरिएबल एंड देन वी विल यूज़ ऑफ वेरिएबल लाइक दिस एंड हेयर वी विल राइट हेयर यूनिक सॉरी थर्ड एरे सो सो वी आर using this uh, variable here which is third array which contains the concatenation of array 1 and array 2 so here we are looping through the values so basically if i show you inside uh, console log i so basically i is the value of each index value here so i1 will be 34 56 all that stuff so if i just show you console log this so it will see it will console log all the values which are present inside the resultant array you can see 34 56 78 34 34 so now it has resulted out all the 21 entries which are there so now what we want we don't want to console log this we just need to compare it inside this if condition we will write here if unique array and there is a method guys which is again a built in method in of javascript which is index of so here we will pass the value which needs to be checked so we will pass the value which is i which is the current value of the index so we will compare it if the value comes out to be minus 1 then we surely no, surely know that this is a unique element so this element is not repeating here so in that case we need to push this element inside the resultant array which is unique array so we will just write here unique array in order to push the element there is a push method inside javascript so push so we will push this entry which is i that's it so this is the logic beh behind uh, how to remove the uh, duplicate element so basically we are comparing it inside this if condition we are checking it using this index of method this is a main method so here we are passing the element here which is i so if this element is repeating then its value will come if this element is unique then its value will come out to be minus 1 so in that case we are pushing this element to unique array which is currently empty so after all the iterations inside uh, outside this for loop we can console log our uh, which is unique array which is uh, this one so here if i just show you uh, once again if i open this so you will see what it will do out of this uh, 20 elements 21 elements it has removed the duplicate elements here so now resultant array you will see it will only contain the unique elements of the array which is 34 56 78 3 4 67 45 5 6 23 1 23, so none of the elements is repeating so it is all unique elements so this is the first approach by which we can remove we can merge multiple arrays and we can also remove the uh, duplicate elements so th by using concat method and also using with this for loop so this is the first method guys now i will be showing you the second way by which you can do the same process so here we can make uh, another function here merge arrays using spread so i can just say using spread and set and here we can again pass the same array array 1 array 2 that's it so here we i can just con uh, comment this line here so also comment this function like this so now i can just make our second function which is merge array using spread and set so i think this is the easiest method as compared to the first one because uh, it contains the built in function you don't need to apply any sort of logic so we will pass the array 1 and array 2 that's it so once again guys what we need to do is that now we will concat the two arrays by using the spread operator so as you know that inside javascript there is a spread operator which is a new thing if you don't know so let me just tell you let me declare the third variable which is third array which will contain the concatenation of these two arrays so now to concat these two arrays guys what we need to do is that inside square brackets we will write dot 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 so this is a spread operator we need to put the first array which is array 1 put a comma and then dot 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 so this dot 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 is called the spread operator array 2 that's it so this also does the same thing it concatenates the elements of both these arrays and stores it inside this third array variable so once again if i console log this uh, 
third array you will find out that uh, if I see it inside my console so now you will see it will concatenate all these arrays you will find the same array which is containing 21 elements here so it will have um, duplicate elements as well so you will see it is 3 is repeating here 4 is also repeating so now we need to remove these duplicate elements so now to remove that it is pretty simple one line of code is there not a lot of code is there so once again we will declare this unique array which will be empty so now what we need to do is that in the next line unique array is equal to and then again using this uh, square brackets we will write dot 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 we will use new operator new and set set is a data structure as you don't know set is a data structure and in the parentheses we will pass our uh, which is called our th third array that's it so basically it or it hides all the abstraction that we did inside the for loop it hides all the logic you just need to call the single line of code and it will remove all the duplicate elements which are there inside the th this third array and it will store it inside your unique array that's it you don't need to write any sort of for loop and again you can just console log your unique array that's it so once again if I refresh it you will see inside the console now it will show you the resultant array which is unique it removed all the uh, repeating elements all the duplicate elements so you will see it contains 11 elements 34 56 78 3 4 67 45 5 6 23 1 so it is containing all unique elements so whichever approach you do you like you can follow but uh, personally i like the second approach which is pretty clean you don't need to write much code and you just need to write these uh, five lines of code and that's it you can remove the duplicate elements as well using the spread operator and set data structure so I have shown you the both the approach approaches here whichever approach that you like you can follow and if you want the full source code of this tutorial you can go to the video description I have written the two blog posts which contains all these source code first blog post is using this for loop and concat method and second one is using this sub spread operator and uh, uh, set data structure so whichever you like you can follow please like this video guys and also comment and I will be seeing you in the next video